nailed it. Mm. I'm not doing this in the video. <laughs> goals. Goals. Oh goals. my god. I can't believe I don't know your birthday. Hi, I'm Sarah Bess. And I'm Zach Baldwin. And welcome back to Cooking with Sarah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Bess. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today I'm with a very special guest. That was very generic. Oh, hush. <laughs> I haven't mastered my skills yet. That hey guys, I'm, I'm Zach Bawley. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. And since a lot of, well basically all of my viewers are from Zach, you already know him. So, you're welcome. no introductions necessary. So mm -hmm. today we're going to do... It's so like if you guys don't know me, my name is Zach and I'm an automated YouTuber. <laughs> Uh, and you're running Zach Baldy, so that's that's me. So today we're, we're drinking now. We're drinking, <laughs> drinking in between. Um, so today we're gonna do the couples like Q and A, couples tag, whatever it's called. I just pulled a bunch of random questions off the internet, and we're gonna answer them. So let's jump straight into the video. So first question: How long have we been together? Oh, two and a half years. No, <laughs> two two and a bit years. Two and a bit years. So it was. Two years in August, mm -hmm. August 27th. Um, so yeah, it's like December now, so it's been like two and a bit years. What was the first thing you noticed about me? I don't know. Okay, well, I'll answer the question then. The first thing I noticed about you was how brightly colored your car was. Yeah, she hated my car as soon as she saw it. The first thing I noticed about you was how generic white girl your car was. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Yeah, I drive a Corolla, so not, not much to be said there. Yeah. Okay, next question. When is my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> you always confuse this. always confuse this. This is so bad. Mm -hmm. um, it is June yes. the 6th. No. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been together now? Uh, you know? <laughs> two, two and three years always. Um, the 12th. No. The f second. No. First. No. Four. Yes. What year? 1998. That's the same as me. Okay. That's so. When's my birthday? August. No. What? <laughs> April. April 15th, 1998. No. April 15th? Mm mm. 1504. Mm. Okay. See, I know it. Okay, uh, what's my weirdest habit? Oh, uh, ugh. That's why I was trying to pre prep you with uh, a question so you had time to think about it. Sarah them. has an unhealthy obsession with acne. Please don't. And pimples. Oh, God. okay. Yep, that's going in the video. Mm -hmm. Very unhealthy that's obsession. That's actually my weirdest habit. Yeah, so I like to um, pop pimples. I want other people popping pimples. It's a bit of a problem. Dr. Pimple Popper, it is like literally mm -hmm. our Netflix. Your weirdest habit is when we go to go to sleep, you just tickle me and annoy me for an hour. And mm -hmm. I just don't understand. A solid effort. I am most alive when we're about to go to sleep. Um, what movie always makes me cry? <laughs> movie, movies, every single one. Mm -hmm. She Anytime. cried during the proposal scene in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. It was a big moment, Yesterday, okay. after she's seen it about six times. It was so good. Jake and Amy, forever. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, so I cry during, like, every movie. Mm -hmm. If it's a romantic bit or a sad bit or mm -hmm. any bit, I cry. Um, you cry during movies that involve dogs dying. What? Since when? Since my own business. Which we've never watched together, but I'm assuming you've cried. What? Hey, you didn't cry. No, I don't. Not no, in movies. No <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay. Actually, there was a moment in Point Break where this guy who's a cop shoots a girl that he's fallen in love with who's on the wrong side of the law and he shoots her without noticing and it's really bad. You should watch that movie. Me. No, I didn't cry. How did we meet? So, we met um, through mutual friends. At a pub. What drink do I always order? So, I feel like we should do like because it's like alcoholic and not alcoholic and I know there's like three of yours but I can answer. Okay, Sarah's go-to is anything that looks pretty <laughs> on the Instagram that she looks up and studies for at least three hours before we go to any event. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. But like what about like, so like, say coffee shop versus like... Oh, uh, soy ice, no, soy latte, you get whatever's nicest on the Instagram menu mm -hmm. at the most expensive place that I take you to that mostly smells like cat pee. And that was one time, okay? <laughs> that was my birthday too. That was that a you really made bad me, place. That you made me go to on my birthday. Yeah. Um, the food was good though. 
No, it wasn't. Okay. Or I get like <laughs> a cocktail that's like sour. I really like sour cocktails. Yeah. You know, she's that type of person that likes to have like bubblegum ice cream with sour gummy worms through it at Cold time. Rock. She's that person. I did that one time again. You're like my brother. This is really cute. This is <laughs> okay, your drink, I can nail this. Mm -hmm. You either have, if you're drinking, you will have a Corona. Or a Northern. Or a Northern. Mm -hmm. Or you will have lemon lime bitters, mm -hmm. or you will have a um, caramel fiction. Yeah, 100%. All four at once, all three at once. Oh my god, can we make that into a drink? A great Northern milkshake. Ooh. A great Northern thick shake, that'd be wicked. With lemon lime bitters. Yes. We should blend that together all the time. Yeah. We should invent a drink. Okay, um, where would I love to travel to? Um, I know you want to go to Canada. She loves Europe, and we've been there before. Um, but where, where do I want to travel to? You want to go back to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. You want to go to Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and Japan. Done. It's nice nah, work. I know you so much better than you know me. <laughs> it's like you don't even care. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, I nailed your places. You never told me where you want to go. Oh, New York. Oh, well, I asked you to go there and you said no. I said I can't afford it. Well, that's no. Me. I'm not, can't afford it. Mm, can't I can't, afford I just quit um, my job. I'm, we're not speaking about that. It's <laughs> for another video. Literally, my next video is going to be, I quit. That's gonna be a brilliant video, yeah. I can't wait to be the sole supporter in our relationship. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. Until I'm famous. Yeah, and I'll sleep off you. No, not happening. Like I'm already doing. Mm hmm. Look at okay. What's in front of us? My camera, your tripod, my TV, my TV unit, my Christmas tree. My love. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? Oh. You wanted to move to Bendigo, <laughs> of all places. She's like, I want to live in Melbourne, but not in the middle of Melbourne. So how about we just move to Bendigo? And I'm like, what? I've never been there. <laughs> She's never been to Bendigo, and it's the hoon capital of is the it world. Actually? It is, yes. Oh, okay, maybe not then. It is I Bogan so. Central. Okay. I feel like Sarah, out of anywhere she'd want to live in the world, would be Melbourne. Is that where you'd want to stay or be? Um, I mean, ideally Sydney, but I wouldn't actually mind um, Canada or New Zealand. Canada? Yeah. Or New Zealand. Okay, fair enough. Even though I have never been to either Well, what of about places. me? Where would I want to live? Oh god, where do you want to live? Mm, I'm just going to say New Zealand slash somewhere near your family. Closer to your family. So, ideally in Australia, but New Zealand. I want to move to a place called Cromwell down in New Zealand where it's close. It's like a... Really nice town that's on the border of a river that runs straight through the middle of the South Island. And it's right near Highlands Motorsport Park, which is amazing. And it's only a through two hour drive from Queenstown. That is my ultimate goal, is to move to Cromwell. Uh, where was our first trip together? Oh, Sydney. And you were sick the whole time and I got cranky because you weren't feeling very well. And you're just like, <laughs> I feel, I'm like, I feel like you just don't really want to be here. Like you're just not having a good time. Sarah used to have really, having a good time. Sarah used to have really bad anxiety. And so when we went there and I was feeling sick, I like, basically didn't speak or do anything and she got really annoyed for some reason but we came out stronger I'm glad yeah. you said that I used to you so nice. another question if you had to get a tattoo where would you get it and what would you get where would I get it mm -hmm. I would probably get it on my ribs or like mm -hmm. um what would I get see that's the thing I've got no idea what I would get you're gonna regret your first tattoo I'd probably get a quote I do uh, I don't know what I'd get and that's the problem okay um who is the organized one in the relationship me me Sarah Definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell from not remembering birthdays or anything else in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. She wears the pants and she is the most Good. organized. I'm definitely not. So I basically keep him alive. I cook, I clean, I make sure he does what he needs to do. In all fairness, I do do a lot of stuff around the house as well. Like what? Cooking for you. Was the last time when we want to have good food, <laughs> when you don't want anything burnt, <laughs> I'm right here. I undercook, so I can't burn anything. <laughs> you 
think it was gift food poisoning. Yeah, but yeah. it's yeah, rare chicken strips. Am I a morning or an evening person? You are definitely an evening evening person. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a morning person. Definitely not a morning person. No. I feel like I really like that quote. It's I'm neither a morning no, I'm neither a night owl or a morning bird. Um some sort of uh, always tired pigeon. Mm -hmm. I feel that on a personal level. <laughs> I think you're a morning person. Because you just wake up and you're ready to go. Yeah. Even that like a half an hour before going to sleep, you just become a night person. I'm like the opposite to like the always tired pigeon. I am like the always awake owl that mm. literally just sits there like this whenever I'm awake. Wise old owl. Yep. And mm -hmm. I annoy her at night and then I wake up and I wake her up. <laughs> so yeah, that's my life pretty much. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm definitely not a morning person, 100%, but I'm getting better, I must admit, mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot better. Mm -hmm. I wake up at like 7 a.m. I'm just like, okay, I could wake up, but I don't want to, but I could. That is progress. If you could change anything about me, what would it be? Mm, probably your face. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, if I was to change anything about Sarah, uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Really? Yeah. I've got so many things out of me. <laughs> I'm a bit broken. Okay, what would you change about yourself then? What would I change about myself? Mm -hmm. Um, what would I change about you? Do you have a list? <laughs> How long do you have? I got all day. Got all day for me? Yep. Okay, you need a haircut? Mm-hmm. You need to sort your eyebrows out? Like, what even is this? This is why we were. That's not hair. bad. That's not bad. It's not I'm bad, not bad. Can you move over, please? I'm running out of room. Yo, gross. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like it's a really bad question. I support you however you happen to be. Thanks. Um, if I won $1,000, what would I spend it on? You would try to save it, but you would end up buying clothes, handbags, stuff for the house, stupid ceramic llamas. We have a llama called Alfie. Purple ceramic llama, pink ceramic llama from Kmart with a fake plant in it. Before I got it home, Sarah had ripped the fake plant out of it and we put a real plant in. How cute is he? His name is Alfie. Mm -hmm. He is from Kmart and he's got a little sun hat with the, with the leaves here. Adorable. This is my life. This is Alfie. Could have been car parts, but... It was $10. Okay. Um, you would spend it on car parts 100%. Or a trip somewhere. Uh, who's uh. my favorite YouTuber? Oh, your favorite is Sophia and Chinzia. Hello guys, Sophia and Tinsy are here. Oh my god, they're just so spot on. So there's these... And all they do is talk over each other. Oh my god. With ASOS and Pretty Little Thing. Pretty Little Thing. And whatever the else they do, they Misguided. are like... Yeah, they just hurt my brain. I don't know how females can watch people talk over each other so much for hours on end. Sarah can watch them for hours. I really don't. You do. So there's these British YouTubers called Sophia and Chinsia and there's his two best friends and I wouldn't say they're my favourite YouTuber but I do watch them. Yeah, or you watch eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. Sophia and Chinsia or there's this chick that has really, really, really bold eyebrows. So her just name, call her, I don't know her name. You call her eyebrows. Her name is Maximilian Hansen. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> People are going to be like in the comments, oh my god, eyebrows. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but cool. Excellent. Oh, also, we need to start your eyeballs. Uh, your favorite YouTuber goes Adam LZ, Salmon, and then Zach Wardy. Me? Yeah. Myself? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll take that. Adam LZ and Salmon. Mm -hmm. Where do you think we will be in five years? Probably Australia, <laughs> I dare say. In five years from now, I would like to hope that we have a house that we have a dog, and that we have a very big garage for lots of cars, and that we are happy and healthy, and both have our own way of being able to be our own boss. So, in five years time, I think we will have a golden long haired on this dog. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're gonna be 26 then. Yep, so I would like to have a house, hopefully. Probably move from the area we are in now. Probably wanna be engaged um, and be successful in our career paths. Oh, such a flattering angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> engaged? Oh. Five years, come on. Five years? 26. That's still pretty young. I think we're at 30. Do we? Yeah. Okay. If we stay together, that is. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just hanging until something better comes along. Uh, if you don't get famous, I'm out. <laughs> Go still Sam off me. No, yeah. he's too old for me. 
Ooh, I'll go get Adam. Him. He's better. There you go, Sam. You've just been called out. Adam's a better catch than you. <laughs> Coming from May well, and no... you. <laughs> oh, that's what May said as well. Oh, Mr. Still Your Girl, Adam LZ. Jesus. Mm, I think it's the Mo. I had a Mo. You told me to shave it. I did not tell you to shave yeah, it. Yeah, you did. I said it was itchy. That's all I said. That's our the thing with Sarah Best and Zach Baldy. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Hey, Sarah. Go, this is my channel. Let me have my own space. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you really enjoyed um, this Q&A, get to know us kind of video and that you found it interesting. So remember to like, subscribe and comment and we will see you, or no, you will see me. And also I just wanted to add a PS in there that me and Sarah have a very odd way of communicating with each other and we do actually love each other very much and I don't know what I would be able to do without her. She's awesome and we both support each other and what we want to do. Okay, back off now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, I keep looking over there because I'm trying to figure out if I'm afraid. <laughs> and yeah, no, we just have very odd ways of showing our affection, but we are a regular people and we are awesome. No, I like our relationship. Same. I feel like we're chill. Yeah. Super chill. Yeah. Alright, see you later everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye.